In this video, I am going to show how to make this kind of petunia flower tower at home. I hope you like the video. This is the last week of November. The average temperature is around 30 degrees centigrade. Actually, we should have started the process from the middle of October. But due to rain, we are starting late this year. Let's start with this iron nets. I bought them for 150 Indian rupees each. They will be used to hold the soil. Bind the ends of the net using flexible wires. Two ends are fixed and the net has taken the form of a cylinder. This plastic container will be used as the base. One container cost 70 rupees. The plastic cover is used to protect the soil from getting released from the container. I have already made some holes on the cover so that extra water can be released and the soil can get some air. On average, this plastic will cost 20 rupees. These types of containers are used to carry fruits or vegetables. We bought them from a local tomato wholesaler. Now take another sheet of plastic, roll it and put inside the cylinder like this. Take the help of a stapler to keep the cylindrical shape. Now fold the plastic at both of the ends like this. Staple them. Put the cylinder exactly at the center of the container. Now I will make small windows on the cylinder by cutting the wires. These boxes will be used to plant the saplings of petunia. The whole system looks like this. It's the time to prepare the soil and fill the container as well as the cylinder. The soil mixture for this vertical petunia tower should be oil drained, that is, it must release the extra water, but it should be able to hold the necessary moisture for a longer time. This is important because some portion of the soil will remain at almost 4 to 5 feet above from ground, and the plants have to survive at this height. This is a big challenge. The soil I am using contains 40% cow dung compost, 30% cocoa peat, 20% ordinary garden soil and 10% sand. The amount of compost is much higher because of two reasons. First thing, working with cocoa peat, it will increase the water holding capacity. And second thing, the structure is being built in such a way that there will be very little chance to provide extra nutrients later. Mix the components well and fill the containers as well as the cylinders with the soil mixture. It's the time to plant the saplings. I have already prepared them for final potting. Try to plant all the saplings at the same time. If you can do this, all of the plants will bloom at the same time. Unfortunately, we could not do that due to the shortage of saplings. The age of all plants should also be the same. Add water properly. It will be better 
if you can insert a hollow pipe inside the cylinder from top to bottom and make some holes on the pipes. This will help to supply water properly to each part of the soil. We did not add any such pipe. This is a mistake. We will definitely solve this problem in the next year. First time add water properly so that the whole soil becomes wet. Keep adding water slowly at the top. Wait until the soil absorbs the whole water. Also add water to the soil present in the box at the base. It took us 7 days to complete the whole process. But this is not right. All the plants should be planted within 2 days. This is after 13 days from the final plantation of the saplings. The plants are stable and have started to grow. Now you have to do the most important thing, pinching of the branches. This will help to form more branches. Do it regularly every 3 to 5 days. The newly formed branches will slowly cover the area. You should also pinch the buds. We will start taking the flowers when the whole tower is covered. After 26 days of the final plantation, the towers are being covered slowly. It's the end of December. You can see the chrysanthemum plants at the back. They have already started blooming. Soon all other plants including this petunia tower will start producing flowers. Now let's talk about the sunlight requirement. Petunia plants need a lot of sunlight to grow. I kept the petunia towers in full sun. They are getting the sunlight for the whole day. After 40 days, it's the middle of January. The plants look nice and green. Buds are produced. The flowers are coming one by one. After 44 days, the number of flowers is increasing day by day. After 55 days, the base of both of the towers is now completely filled. We got a lot of color variations. I think it will also look nice if all the flowers are of the same color. White, red or pink will be a better choice. Always remove the dry flowers. Do not let them to form the seed pots. This will help the plants to produce more flowers for a longer period of time. This is after 2 months. Most of the plants are in full bloom. Now let's talk about the water requirement. It is important to maintain the proper amount of water in the soil of these vertical towers. Check the topsoil regularly. Add water before the soil becomes dry completely. You have to remember one thing while watering. The water should not touch leaves and flowers. Add water slowly at the top in little amount. Let the soil absorb the water then add again. I did not add any fertilizer to the soil after planting the saplings. Only spread this flower booster once in a month. This is a multivitamin that contains essential micro and macronutrients. This helps the plants to grow healthy and produce more flowers. Dissolve 2 ml of this liquid in 1 liter of water and spray all over the plants. It's the first week of February. This is how my petunia towers look after 64 days. The flowers will remain a few weeks more. In spite of making lot of mistakes, my petunia towers surprised me with the number of flowers. This is the first attempt. I hope 
next year it will give a better result. In the same concept, you can make the towers of the impatience flower. I think it will look better as the number and the density of flowers in impatience are greater than the petunia. I will definitely try that. So you have seen how easy it is to make this vertical petunia tower at home. The cost is also not much. One tower costed me around 500 Indian rupees. Above all, you are creating such a beautiful thing that will be appreciated by each and everyone who will see it. That's all for today. Thanks for being with me till the end. Hope we will meet again in the next video.